What's up, you guys? Today we have a another NECA horror action figure review of Pennywise the Dancing Clown. This is the one with the spider arms, so I'm really excited. We'll take a look at the packaging and then we'll crack this guy open. So this is it. NECA little toys. Here's all the different looks you get. Your spider arms, you know, the deadlights, you know, hands coming out of his mouth, the woman from the portrait, deadlights again, him dancing. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. It says, seven young outcasts band together to battle an ancient shape-shifting evil that emerges every 27 years to prey on their town's children. NECA. Boom! Looks cool, right? <laughs> All right, guys, let's crack them open. Here we got the insect arms Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Just right off the back, guys, we're gonna go over the detail of the figure. We are gonna go over each individual head swap, and then we're gonna do some size comparisons. I'm not gonna do articulation. I've already done two Pennywise the Clown videos. Um, they're the same figure. The only difference is they have, this one has different arms and different head sculpts. So I'm not gonna waste time and continue to go over the same articulation. This figure is really awesome now. Um, this is a figure I'd, I'd, I'd rather about recommend. I like the fact that he's got the insect arms and I think this is the closest, this takes place from It Chapter 1. But spoiler alert for those who really liked It Chapter 2, I think this is the closest you're gonna get to anything related to um, the spider Pennywise. I don't think NECA's gonna do a spider Pennywise. I think they said it, was, it would be too much money um, for the consumer. So I think this is the closest we're gonna get as a like, you know, insect you know Pennywise but so it looks pretty good I, I I think like I said I think with every figure that they made the head sculpts got better and better and better like I said the first head sculpt is not that they're bad but they're a little bit smaller this head sculpt's really nice I love the arms take a look at these arms look at the details of the arms and I like the fact that they although it's got like a pinkish reddish tint it still carries the grays of the suit you know so I think that's really really cool it's a really nice detail it still shows that it's morphed from him and this, that face sculpt. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get, there he is. Look at that face sculpt. That's a clean face sculpt. It's really, really nice. I really am a big fan of this Pennywise. I'm a big fan of the entire Pennywise line. Um, I think these, you know, I think like as a horror fan, you know, like the way I collect, right? Right off the bat, I tried to get all the major icons, right? So I think we're trying to get all the major icons. Pennywise, you gotta get. So I have reviewed almost, I've reviewed quite a bit of these Pennywises and I've showed pretty much all the Pennywises that have come out. It's up to you guys to figure out which one you want. Um, but before we uh, get some size comparisons, let's try each individual head sculpt. Here is Pennywise with the burning hands coming out of his mouth. This is when he's trying to play um, and scare Mike Hanlon at the final batter, battle. You can see the detail of the hands are really, really nice. Here's a head-on look. It's kind of weird. <laughs> But all in all, it's a really, really cool head sculpt. This is not the one I'm purpose I'm actually gonna pose with. I'm, the first one you probably saw him have will be the one I'm, I'm posing with. Um, but this one's pretty cool. It's not bad, it looks cool, it looks creepy, it looks eerie. Um, it will fit someone's uh, needs for sure. Let's get the other one out. Here is Deadlights Pennywise. Um, this one does light up. Uh, mine doesn't because I don't have batteries. So that's, so just pretend like there's a light. So. I think this one actually would be really cool. I think this is going to be one of the top contenders for most people, the deadlights. You know, to have him on your shelf with the light and has the button on the back of his head. But to have him on your shelf with the light um, is pretty cool. You know, I can't complain with that. Here is the inside of the mouse. It's pretty cool. All in all, nice look. Let's get the final head sculpt out and then break some uh, size comparisons. This is the lady from the portrait from uh, the synagogue. I think this is my second favorite head sculpt besides the first one. I think this is the one I like because I like any head sculpt that kind of makes it look like you have another character from the movie, right? Another creature. So I think if you bought like a second figure, it'd be kind of cool just to have one displayed with her head. I think it's really, I think it's really neat. And I think it's just another addition that you can have that looks like you have another character or another shapeshifter from the film. But I really like this head sculpt a lot. My favorite though is the first one. I think the first one is just a really dynamite head sculpt. We'll get that one back let's get some other Pennywises out to size compare and then we'll put this review to an end. Here's Pennywise next to the GameStop exclusive from It Chapter 1 and the It Chapter 2 which I don't know if I had to pick between I think which is like the best It figure it's between these two. 
Um, the spider arms are really awesome, but a great face sculpt. And this one, just in general, is just a really great figure. So, I don't know. It would be really hard, but these two are definitely the top contenders of the, uh, of like the brand new Skarsgård It's These are the two I'd go for, personally. But, honestly, you also can't go wrong with the other ones too, but these are the two that favor uh, for me. If you guys do me a favor, comment down below, like this video, and as always, subscribe to my channel, and have a great day, and keep an eye out for more videos like this. Bye.